Okay, here we go. Quick instruction on how to get everything installed. First, with the arcade folder, this is inside of the EMU VR games that is pre-included pre with the pack. In here is a, you drop your FB Neo ROM set. Can't tell you where to get it, but a little search should show you the way. Under capture, this is where you're going to store all of the capture core arcade stuff. Techno Parrot, uh, Hikiru, uh, Chihiro. There's other systems. Uh, Naomi can go in here if uh, if you're using Flycast Capture. Uh, in here, you have all the different light gun games. So you're going to put your 3DO ROMs in here. You're going to put PlayStation ROMs in here. Here's the list of the current ones that are... are already pre-scanned so if you drop them in there and they match the ch or the crc they should automatically pop up but maybe re-scan you can rescan if it's, it's not working for you next is mame uh mame is more used as like a fallback for games that aren't supported under final burn neo so there's a bunch of MAME ROMs that I'm using listed here now. You really only need like the main one. And when it has this empty folder thing, this means that there's like CHD files for this. So it's not just the ROM you're gonna need more and they're gonna be listed if you look down here. You're gonna need these files and the other files. You're gonna need to put them in here for it to work. Uh, for Microsoft XBLA, you, that's files that are part of Xenia, you need to scan with the capture core. I'll show you how to do that. Pinball FX currently only supports up to Pinball FX3. The new one switched to Unreal and is not supported yet. I'll show you how to use that. Hikiru, Naomi, these are all, you're just going to use your standard here under games. Sega. You're just going to use your standard ROM sets that would. You know, this is just a Naomi ROM set that has the ROMs and it also has the extra CHD files with it. This would, you would set for uh, Naomi, you, you would use the Flycast core. And that's for stuff like Crazy Taxi, uh, 18, was it 18 Wheeler. Sega, Sega has a lot of Naomi games on there that are arcade. STV is basically a Saturn version of an arcade it's like a run on saturn chips so that can run according to emu he said it, the, the latest mame can run it so you just need to have what's called sega bill which is the bios file and then you put your stv roms in there for ps3 and psn you have two different formats that that uh rpcs3 uses rpcs3 can use isos which are, you know, really big files. And then it also has files that are installed into RPCS3, like the PSN arcade games. So there's two different folders here, one for the ROMs and one for stuff that's installed. Same thing with XBLA. 360 has XBLA and it also has the ability to have stuff install or has uh, the ROM separately as ISOs. So those are stored separately. Now, after you get all that stuff put where it's supposed to, for the stuff that doesn't use the capture core, you're gonna put the ROM files in here. Now for the stuff that does use the capture core, Xbox, PS3, uh, some of the Naomi stuff, if you wanna use the triple screen, you can you can put it in here, or cause that's gonna, you're gonna end up scanning it and then putting the capture core file in here anyway. All right, I'm gonna jump over to the capture core companion which is right here. This is where you're going to create your your capture core files. Standard emulators where it's just a basic command line slash, you know, the ROM file. You'll select it like here. And then you'll select where your emulator is located with this. You'll select wherever the play emulator is located. So I would have my emulator files and go to browse emulators and then I would find my play file here's play and I would select the play executable and then for my ROMs I would select 
my games. PlayStation 2, select this folder. And then this is where I'm gonna select my output folder. So this would be right now, it's eMovieR. And this is gonna be a capture, so you're gonna probably want to name it like PlayStation Capture. So now it's going to look for these types of files in this folder and it's going to create capture core files for them. So there it goes. It's, it's now created all the capture core files. So now if I go up here and I look, let's see, oh, where did I put it? Games PlayStation Capture Core right here. It's now created all the capture core files. And it's also created this important file here, these, so that when you open the game scanner, it will pop up and be detected. So now I'm done scanning for this. I would open the game scanner and I would scan and it would find the new PlayStation folder. Let's go to RPCS3. That's like the, this is like the, the generic one. This will automatically set the core as arcade. So you're probably gonna need to change, or the media to arcade, from arcade to whatever, whatever format it is. If it's a PlayStation, you wanna go in and change the PlayStation, but you wanna leave the capture core as the, as the core that it's using. So this is, I'm gonna select my path to RPCS3, which is in my emulator folder. So I'm gonna browse emulator folder. RPCS3, RPCS3.exe. Now it wants me, if I have a ROM folder, where I keep my PlayStation games, because PlayStation games are big and they're usually not stored. You're not gonna keep them in your EMU VR folder. So I'm gonna go to where I keep my games, which is up here. I'm gonna put it here, come down here to PlayStation 3. Oh, nope. Oh, let me see. That's the wrong folder. My bad. That's not where I keep them. There we go. They're right here. Now it wants a path to where I keep my PlayStation Network games, which is going to be right next to it, right here. PlayStation Network. Right here. Select folder. Now, PlayStation Network games, when you install them, they will go into uh, the RPCS3 folder. So this is where I want to set the output. This is path to EMUVR games folder, which is this folder right here it wants. So we're gonna copy this. Uh, now we've got a path filled in here. We're gonna generate the capture core files finding all the games and because it's they're just like they're installed they use a sony id so it's got to figure out okay i know what each one of these games are i'm going to figure out what the name of the game is and i'm going to create a file for it so now it's done it says it's created the files and here they all are All right, PlayStation Vita, a lot easier. We're gonna, it wants me to use a folder called PlayStation Vita. So we're gonna do new folder, PlayStation Vita. Now this is, again, in my eMovieR game folder. My PlayStation Vita games are not gonna be in there. They're gonna be, PlayStation Vita games are usually installed into Vita 3K. So really, you just need to know where Vita 3K is because the games are gonna be as a subfolder of that. So I just gotta go to Vita 3K, select the emulator, 
and then select my output folder. So now I've got my input, which is set to the emulator, and then my output. Oops, that is not the right output folder. There we go. It shows Emu VR games. This is where we want it to go. It's going to create the files that we need to scan in here. So it generates these files. Oh, I don't have anything installed. Hold on. That would probably be helpful. Oh, I hit a loop. Oh, nope, it's going one game at a time. Okay, we've got a bug there. Fix it later. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Techno Parrot. Select the Techno Parrot path. All right. Techno Parrot is right here. Once the Techno Parrot UI.exe. All right. And then the output folder, which is saying it wants the arcade capture folder. Games arcade capture. So path to emu, emu VR, games arcade capture. All right. Generate generated the files here they all are well they were there but they're just updated now but here i'll do it hey, let's do this and they're back so now you would just scan it has the it has these files, so the game scanner should recognize them. You just open the game scanner, and it'll pop up. We'll do that at the very end. Let's get a couple more of these out of the way. Pinball effects. So what you're going to do here, you're going to go to Browse. Oh, first, let's make sure that there's nothing in the Pinball Effects folder. It's empty. Okay. So this is... We want to go to our emulators. Pinball effects. Find my pinball effects folder. It's got the executable pinball effects. Now it wants the output, which is emu VR games pinball effects. So that's this right here. Copy this path, I'll put it in here. Make sure emu VR games pinball effects. I'm gonna generate the core files. Boom, it went and looked through all the tables, and generated all the table files here. Uh, for model two and model three. Okay, let's do this. This is going to ask you, okay, this is going to go into Capture Core 2. So let's do this. Let's just delete these so you can see them being generated. They're not going to, it's not the same game, so it's not going to be an issue. It wants the emulator for Model 2. Wait, hold on. The Model 2 emulator is called Multi-Core something. M2 emulator. Here it is. Here it is, multi-CPU, that's the one. Select the ROMs folder. Now this is, you're gonna select your Model 2 ROMs. This is, so I'm gonna go and find where I got my Sega Model 2 ROMs at. Uh, they here. Oh, you know what? I don't even need those. I don't. I think they're in the ROMs. <laughs> they're in a subfolder of the emulator because that's where they are. So anyway, I couldn't find them. Okay, my bad. Reset. So Model 2 emulator has a subfolder called ROMs, and that's where the ROMs are. So I was looking in the wrong place for them. They go right in there because the, it scans them. So now it wants to go in the arcade capture folder, which... Is this folder here? I'm going to copy this path, paste it in here. So it's got the where my Model 2 emulator is, where the Model 2 ROMs are, and then the output is the Capture Core Arcade. So it's going to go through, figure it out, and here they all are. It's now, and there's, there's more than one version, it'll leave the version number. I don't know how it says version, revision C, revision D. 
Let's delete those. All right, now we're going to do model three. Model three is called Supermodel. Yeah, I want to pick the Supermodel EXE, not the UI. Select the ROM folder. Also, subfolder of Supermodel. Then, we want the same folder. So we're going to do the same thing, capture our path, put it here. Games, we're going to generate the core files. It's going to look at all of that, and here we go. And with this, if you've got the same version, it's going to put the ROM name. So there's a bunch of emergency call ambulances. So it's going to put each different one as a ROM name. So it's got the, the main one, and then it's got all the different ones. This is the deluxe. This is 2P. This is 2PA. This is the main ROM. So it's got the sub-ROMs listed, version A, version P. So you can, if you want to run the other ones, it makes the links for you. And then once you've done all this, let me see, I leave these open in the back behind. No, I did not. All right, well, you open your game scanner. And it will now see all of these things that we just created. Now, remember, when we created PlayStation 2, it's going to, it's going to set it to arcade because of the, oh, it didn't even, it set it to arcade. Shoot. All right. I got to look at the, the play. It's not popping up here. Let me see why. Sony PlayStation capture. Oh, no, it's right here. My bad. I, I'm looking for play and it's PlayStation. So you are going to want to change this to PlayStation. but you want to keep this as capture. Ah, shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to add a custom, a new custom uh, media so that you can, you can change this and it will allow you to set it to capture core. This was a last minute addition. So all the other ones, these are fine. Xbox is a 360, that's correct. That's so you can work, it works in the 360 UGCs. Pinball FX, that's the name of the correct. Vita is actually called just Vita. P PS3 is called PlayStation 3. That's correct. 360. So then I would just scan these. It's going to go through and, and scan. It's going to take a while, probably. And I shouldn't take that long. It's only, uh... So I detected 272 new games. So when I when I go into the game, it will it'll find those new games that we just scanned. Hopefully, besides for the bug here where it... Uh, has an issue with Vita. The other ones are, are okay, and I got to get the uh, the Vita thing figured out. If you guys have any other questions, I hope I covered everything. And remember to stop by the Age of Joy guys and thank them. Their prefab saved me so much time, it's not even funny.